So uh, without further ado, Derek Butts is here and he's gonna get us motivated for the afternoon. All right, thank you. All right, well, anytime you get an opportunity to come out and speak to money individuals, it's always a good day. So I wanna say thank you to Keller Williams and each and every one of you being here. I know we're having a working lunch, so we're eating as well as learning. And I think that that's probably one of the best things we could ever do. If anybody does not yet know, this is a special week. And the reason why this is a special week is because it is a few people's birthdays, right? And so, so let's, we could not have this session without saying happy birthday to our birthday people. So why don't we just, on the count of three, say happy birthday. One, two, three. All right, all right. I knew that would put a smile on at least a few people's face if we don't ever get another one today. All right, so I, I have a handout. Hopefully you received it. There should be a handout there with you. And the reason why I wanted to do that is so that you have the ability to take what you hear today away from here because it's not what you hear in here. It's what you do with what you hear in here. We all know that life will only reward us based on what we do, not based on what we think. It starts with our thinking, but it has to move into our action. So we're going to move very fast this afternoon. So hopefully you are ready to go. I get you're working and doing all kind of things. I just need you to listen for your aha. Everybody say aha. aha. You are listening for your aha. When you hear your aha, your aha can change your right now. Okay. Your aha that you hear today, it can change your right now. It only takes one thought, it only takes one handshake, it only takes one introduction, it only takes one house, it only takes one person that can ultimately change your life. Think about it like this. Most of you had a career before you came into the career that you have right now. Whoever introduced you to the career of real estate introduced you to unlimited income. They, they introduced you to freedom. They introduced you to an opportunity that is bigger than what you're living in right now. So I need you to think no matter how good it is, no matter how bad it is, no matter how great it is, you are in an opportunity that is unlimited. So the aha is one handshake and one hello has totally changed your whole world. And you say, well, I haven't experienced that yet. If somebody that you know is experiencing it, then you are experiencing the possibility and it's just around the corner for you. Yeah. When you can extract now principles, you don't have to follow everything they do, but you have to be able to extract principles. When you extract principles and then apply the principles, you are going to have similar results. OK. All right. So let's do this as we start. That sheet of paper that I was graciously provided through the great printers of Keller Williams because they printed this off. I want you to take it and fold it in half. I don't care the half that you fold it. It can be vertical. Or it can be horizontal. I just want you to fold it in half. If you choose to go vertical with it, then you're going to use it like the old plates like this. You know, I used to have to put your name on it. You're not going to have to worry about that, but you are going to put your name on it. If you go the other way, you can do it that way. All right. With your dominant hand, your dominant hand, that's the one that you use all the time. I want you to write down the word money. With your dominant hand on one side of the sheet of paper, I want you to write down the word money. All right. With your dominant hand. All right. Real quick, with the opposite hand, so your non-dominant hand, flip the sheet of paper over, flip it over, and I want you to write down your name. Non-dominant hand, you're going to write your name down on the opposite side of that sheet of paper. It's taking some of you just a little bit longer. It's okay. I'm patient, and I'll work with you, right? On the other side... I want you to write down money with your dominant hand. And then I want you to write with your non-dominant hand your name. All right. If you can open that up and look at it, I bet you the letters look a little different. All right. They look just a little different. They look a little bit different. I do. There's some more right here. There's some more in the back as well. Uh, so with your, the letters look different. 
Well, I want you to know the way you begin your day is going to determine a lot about your day. Some of us, we begin our day the way you wrote down money with your dominant hand. Others of us are beginning our day the way we wrote down our name with our non-dominant hand. The attitude that we approach, the information that we get, also determines the altitude in which we reach. The attitude that you approach, the information that you get is going to determine the altitude that you're going to go in your world. So today I want to talk to us real briefly about three words to change one life. Right? We're going to talk about three words to change one life. And I believe that in the course of it, the most important precious life that we can change today is not your neighbor. It's yours. When we change your world, there are so many people that you indirectly and directly impact and influence on a day to day basis that their whole life is going to change when yours does. So the reason why I want you to get selfish for just a moment is because you already are selfless. But I need you to get selfish. I need you to think right now, if abundance reaches you, what would you do with abundance? Let's answer it. If abundance, when abundance reaches you, what would you do with abundance? Share it. OK, what's come on? Just spurt it out. Travel. Travel. All right. I love it. Me too. Cruise with the coach. Here we go. Help hey, others. what would you do? Help others. Help others. Help your parents. Help your parents. Remove debt. Remove debt. Spend more time with family. Pay for college. Pay for college. <laughs> So notice just in just just off the off the cuff, you don't even have to think you just had it just roll right off your tongue. What would happen when abundance hits your life? So that's what we need to walk towards it, because everything that everyone said so far has not been anything detrimental to somebody. So I need you to get selfish because you need to see yourself as a conduit of the very thing you just shared. You are not a cul-de-sac. You are a conduit. That means things flow through you when they get to you, right? So I need things to get to me. What word did you write? I think you wrote the word money. Everybody say money. Money. It's okay. You don't work for free. You hopefully you found something to do that you love, but you are here because you want to make money. Say it again. Say money. Money. So the abundance of money needs to meet. What's that person's name on the other side? Okay. So let's look at this. The abundance of money needs to meet. Say your name. Right. You need to start telling yourself every single day that the abundance of money has been set up in order for me to have a meeting with it. See, because when I start thinking from the end, I already, you already told me what your why is and what you're going to do with it. All that stuff's good. So I now need to get to the place where I am money motivated so I can be purpose generated. See, when I'm money motivated, it's because I'm thinking really about my purpose that I'm generating. So when I'm selfish, it's because I'm selfless. When I'm making it all, it's not because I'm stingy. It's because I want to pay for college. I want to travel. I want to help others. I want to share it. I want to do those things that you just shared that are all positive things. But the only way I'm going to do it, I promise you, it's going to be real difficult if I stay broke. <laughs> So three words to change one life. Whose life do I want to change today? I want to change yours. All right, let's jump in. Word number one is opportunity. All right, on your sheet, opportunity. Let's define it. A chance. Number one, opportunity. All of it, all it is. Let's break it down to the simplest form. An opportunity is a chance. Three things I want to say about opportunity. Number one, it's available to you. A lot that I'm going to say today is for you to turn these into confessions, professions, things that you can say to yourself on a day to day basis. So listen to what I would say here. I would wake up and say opportunity is available to me. Ain't that a positive way to start my day? Yeah. That opportunity is available to me, let me let's go to the second thing. The second thing I'm going to say about opportunity is that it's unlimited. 
Oh, the reason why I love this one is because I don't have to ever be envious nor jealous of yours because it's unlimited. So because I know it's unlimited, I can celebrate you because I know on December 24th, I got a birthday, too. See, I can celebrate your birthday because it's your time. But I know that mine's coming. So you celebrate others opportunity because of an abundant mindset does not see limit in anything. Yes. So I never want to allow my tongue to curse the very thing I really want to create. Yes. And I see us do it all the time. You get an agent that's rolling and we start thinking, what are they doing? Where are they getting their stuff from? But your whole attitude just said you don't believe that there's enough out there for both of you to get it. And they got it. And now you missed out. And now you have a sucker face and they have a happy face. Uh So, number one, the first word is opportunity. Number one, I said underneath it is that it's available. Number two, we said it's unlimited. And the third thing that I need you to say, it's waiting on you. It's waiting on you. All right. If you got if I'm going to get through this sheet, I got to move a lot faster. huh? Here we go. Number two, the second word we're going to talk about is capacity. So Miss Tasha said that I brought up this here and I did. I brought three things up here. One of them has something in it. We better put that down because I don't want to spill. Y'all, I've been on vacation, so this is the first time I put on some nice clothes So since my vacation. So three, three things. Notice that all three of these have a different capacity. Right? Yes. They all have a th- different capacity. I'm not going to keep this one up because we've got a lot of computer stuff. All right. So capacity, let's define it. It's the maximum amount that I can, what, contain or produce capacity. Mm. We should probably hang out here a little longer. Let me tell you why. The problem that sometimes we run into is that you're filling your cup too soon so your work ethic quits too early. See, I can't have this type of dream this type of work ethic. Right on. I'll always be half empty, half full, however you want to put it. So my preparation must match my expectation. So say that one more time for the people in the back. In the back? I'm gonna say it for um, let me can I pretend I can I say it for me and hopefully get it in the back? I'm gonna say it for me, because I gotta say it's for me. So listen, I can't have this dream. With this work ethic. See, I couldn't stop working for AutoNation, and, which I was a general manager. I was running a Toyota store in Arlington and start a company, but my work ethic lower because I started a company. If anything, it had to increase because I started a company. Because you know when you're brand new, everybody's skeptical. Well, that's some good stuff he be talking about, but they're skeptical. Mm-hmm. I wonder really. To... So you ran for the largest retail in America. You ran stores from the produce over 10, 15 million dollars a year. That's what you did for a living. But now when it comes to coaching you, oh, I don't know if he can help me get from 30,000 to 100. Let's see. We took a company that was losing six million dollars a year to now producing 11 million dollars. But my fear is you're 30. Oh, but it's skeptical because he doesn't have, see, capacity. You got to have a strong work ethic. Rolls Royce didn't hire me because you didn't have anything to say. But here's the deal. Truth be told, ahas are the same, but the way that the sitter is seeing the individual determines what they pull and extract from them. Because it's the same handshake and hello. But what changes our world is who can move it into action. Right. All right. Capacity. What's the maximum amount that you can 
produce. Have you reached it? You reached it yet? So you telling me that you can't take another lead. You can't serve another client. You can't find another home. Have you reached that place? If you have reached it, I now need to challenge you to start to divide your atom and work into people. Leads us to word number three. Third word is strategy. Strategy is the plan that I've uh, the plan of action that I have that's designed to achieve the very thing that I want. So my company's name assists you to win. What is that? What assists you to win? All it is is you, the sitter here, defines what winning is, not me. My job is to provide principles to help you get to the very thing that you've defined. Your scoreboard looks different than this scoreboard. But the principles that we use are pretty much the same in order for us to get there. So the, really the reason I want to talk today is I want to talk about strategy. So our first opportunity today that we sit here looking at is how, how do I increase my capacity? That blank on your sheet says capacity. How do I increase my capacity? you got to ask yourself these questions. So we're going to go through for the 10, 10 more minutes coaching exercise right now. Okay. I'm going to say things and all it should do is start triggering thoughts for you. So how do I increase my capacity? What number does, where, where, where do you stop? So let's just talk in a month. Where does your mind stop at? And be honest. Y'all remember that game in Price is Right? When you do, 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 and you had to stop it on the number, right? You know, had to stop it. Okay, well, I, I watched Price is Right growing up, okay? So there was a little game for those that are looking at me kind of crazy, right? It's a game. It was an item, and you, the little thing did, and you had to stop it, and you had to stop it where you thought it is. Now, when I get to your number, I want you to stop. Okay, where's your capacity? One thousand a month, two thousand a month, six thousand a month, twelve thousand a month, twenty thousand a month, thirty thousand a month, fifty thousand a month, hundred thousand a month, two fifty a month, three hundred thousand a month, five hundred thousand a month, a million a month, ten million a month. Okay, all right, I'm gonna stop. Somewhere in this number, there's a place that we say, oh, am I worthy of that? Okay. I remember as I started going up the little ladder, right, and breaking numbers, there came a point where I started seeing a number and I started thinking, wow, how do I now say I can make what I made in a year in a month? That was a big deal. That was the, probably the hardest place for me is right there. When I was thinking, how now you're telling me, because remember, opportunity, capacity, strategy. Watch this. Your opportunity that you see depends on the capacity that you are. So here was the biggest thing for me. Look at an automobile industry, since I understand that so well. When I was training, I was training at a Chevrolet store every day. And then I get called from a Rolls Royce store. Well, what's the difference between Rolls Royce and Chevrolet? What's the price tag? But the training was the same because they had the same goal. What's the difference when you're selling a $300,000 house and a $3 million house? It's the same paperwork that you got to go through. The client may think different. The, the area may look different. You may have to think different and talk different and appear different, but the process is actually the same. But guess what's different? The paycheck. But sometimes the capacity of my mentality causes me not to see that I'm worthy of that type of client yet. So I pull myself back and I keep myself in what I'm comfortable in because I keep wanting to talk to who looks like me, thinks like me, talks like me, dress like me. And guess what? It'll continue to get you what you've been getting. So the challenge today is first, how do I increase my capacity, my thoughts about me, the person I see in the mirror? How do I increase that? How do I start telling myself you're worthy of that check? You're worthy of that commission. You're worthy of that client. You can handle that. How do you how do you challenge that area? 
How do you challenge the area to say, start studying that millionaire client? Because guess what? They, they talk like you, think like you do. When I'm on a cruise, they're on a cruise. When I go to, my kids go to school, their kids go to school. So how do I start to increase my capacity? Because until you can increase your capacity, you will not see the opportunity. You won't even see it. Matter of fact, you won't even go to the neighborhoods where they live. Some of you have yet to market into those neighborhoods because you're not, you don't think you're worthy to be there. They're looking today for somebody and you won't go because oh, I don't know if they're going to treat. It's... And they're looking for somebody to treat them this way and they don't want to deal with something. Capacity. All right. Second thing. Got to move quick, Derek. Second opportunity here is to challenge your strategy. So I've had the privilege of hanging out with realtors now, I would say about a year and a half. For those of you that, you know, you guys probably can see me on social media. You know some of the people I run with. You know, I'm, have, I'm having an event uh, called Wednesday. Tommy Jones, one of the people that do a lot in the real estate area. He's one of our speakers for it. You know, I got to speak with him when he brought Lisa Nichols here. I mean, so I kind of ran in this circle. And so I understand this here. And the place, I was on a call two weeks ago. I'm training 15 uh, agents right now. And they all work for this one broker, and I'm training them. And we talked about strategy. Man, I wish I had a board that I had. Is there anything I can write? Here, do it on your own. Here, watch this. Flip it over. Flip your sheet over. I need you to do this. The average commission is what? Just give me a number. It doesn't matter the number. Okay, 6,000. Let's put, we're using six today. The average commission is 6,000. I need you to write that number on your sheet. Write it kind of big, 6,000. All right. Underneath it, right, just draw a straight line underneath it. I hope you can. I, I had the board. I'd do it. But six thousand. Draw a line. And then underneath that line, put one. All right. Just listen. So I'm going to give you here's what here's where we were at in our coaching session. One client equals six thousand dollars. One. My question to them was. What percent of that commission is redirected on my own to go get one? What percent, when you sell a home and get $6,000, are you doing to go back to go find one? Just now, let's go down the road then. Okay, you say, okay, I'm listening, I'm paying attention, I'm tracking with you. Okay, so here's the deal. Does it take you $600 to find one client? No. What could you do then with $600 if I gave it to you? And could you produce one customer? Yeah. Yeah. Then God dog it, how come you don't have a budget set aside every time you sell a home that spends $600 to go get me one person? Because that's $6,000 every time you tell me that's one. <laughs> Just think. Think about what you have to set up. Think about the neighborhood party. Okay? Watch this. Think about having a block party at the next home you sell and you spent 600 bucks to attract all these people to come to it. And from there, can I find one more client yeah. out of six hundred dollars? And now if you tell me that over three months you can spend six hundred to find to find one client to get six thousand, then guess what? It's a math problem. All I need to keep doing is what? Keep spending the money. Instead of spending the money, reinvest that money and watch what happens. Compound effect happens to your real estate business. Six thousand, one client. Start meditating on that thought. All right, let's move down. All right. Da, 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 da. All right I'm going to skip this next line. I got two things under the next thing. Let me just give it to you real quick. Let me give it to you. You can just put them in your blanks. I know if I skip it. Some melancholy individual in here is going to hate me for the rest of their life because we did not fill out the blanks. All right, so here it goes. The attitude of my approach determines the effort that I exert. All right, so attitude, effort. Okay, we talked about that. Number two, without change, nothing changes. Got it? Where am I? I'm on. 
It's the only reason I'm going to stop and do this is because it's your birthday week. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Share your notes. It's she asked. Oh, you asked. <laughs> oh, you just said it out loud. Okay, so here you go. All right, blank. Our, our first opportunity was to increase our capacity. Our second opportunity is to challenge our strategy. Hey, for y'all that are listening online, I'm so sorry that we have to do this, so forgive me. All right, uh, the next blank is, number one, the attitude of my approach determines the effort I exert. If y'all want to get this here, you can go to assistyoutowincoaching.com backslash today, and the notes are in there. I put them in there just for y'all. There you go. Oh, you already did for them. They weren't supposed to do that. You got to go to assistyoutowincoaching.com backslash today. No, I'm just messing. Get, get your notes. All right. So the attitude of my, of my approach determines the effort I exert. Number two, nothing change. Nothing changes without changes. Okay? Nothing change. Without change, nothing changes. Excuse me. All right. All right, so here we go, and, I, and I'm at the quit right here. So I, I'm not going to get to finish, but I'm at the quit right here because I can see Tasha's winking at me, say that's you need to wrap up. All right, so here we go. <laughs> she did not do that, y'all. All right, so we're on this. this. My capacity increases when I challenge three things. Number one, my existing thoughts. So until you think a new thought, you can't have a new action. I'm going to say it again. Until you think a new thought, you can't have a new action. Just me giving you 6,000 under one, somebody has a new thought today that you're going to go back and develop something right there. Watch what happens. A new thought, new action. Number two, you have to challenge my current strategy. So whatever your current strategy is, you have to keep looking at it. If not, you will blockbuster and not Netflix. If, you, if not, you will Netflix and then you won't move into Apple TV, right? You, you will be extinct. You sell home, same goal. The way you do it is different. The agent that's been in the game for a while will tell you they're doing different things today in order to generate the same result that they want. And you got to keep evolving. Number three, your daily execution. All right, so this is where I'm going to quit. And I know there's four blanks. And I'm going to stop right here. And I'm sorry because the four blanks is really the juice. But I got to stop right here. So here's the deal. Your daily execution to your strategy will determine your money. I'm going to say this again. Your daily execution to your strategy will determine your money. And here's where it all meets, the, meets, meets home. Here, right here. Here it comes. It's not your prayer life. It's not your wishing life. It's your execution life. So I'm on vacation. Me and my daughter are taking an excursion. And we went horseback riding. So we're on the horse. My daughter says that we're expert, expert horseback riders. I don't know how we became expert horseback riders when the only time we horseback ride is on vacation. But tell a 12-year-old to choose, and she chose, we're expert horseback riders. So we get to the, the ranch, they give us our horse, and they said, boom, dos. We both get on the expert horses. So we are on these expert horses, and we see the river. Now, we have went into the water before, but this time, we actually cross through the water, because we're expert horseback riders. And we're on our horses, and we're in the water, but I notice the water's getting deeper. And it keeps getting deeper. And my heart's starting to pound because I'm the dad that's not supposed to be afraid. But I'm afraid. And my daughter's going and I'm going. And we're now all the way in the water. And the horse is barely, like, head's just barely above the water. And we're just, and we're just going across the water. Expert horseback riders. In the course of going across the water, I noticed this gentleman. And this gentleman is getting these... This, these, these, these branches and he's stringing them together and he's just stringing them together. We get out of the water. We make it to the other side and we get over there. While we're there, our tour guide says, hey, did anybody notice the gentleman that was in the water? I said, I sure did. He said, well, this guy has been there since the beginning of the morning and he will not quit until he finishes stringing the net together. Well, will he take a break? 
He will take a break when he's done stringing the net together. We get back on our horses. We start riding back. And I notice the guy again. This time I take even extra. I pay attention to him. And he's halfway through and he's stringing the net together. We get back to the ranch. We're tasting tequila. Oh, it was great. Six different types they let us taste. It was wonderful. He finishes his story and he says, this man, the fish that we are eating today was because of the net he strung yesterday. I said, oh man, I like that. But if the man didn't string together the net, we wouldn't have anything to eat. If you don't finish the work, you won't have anything to eat. Your daily execution to your strategy will determine the level of money that you get to. Your thoughts will determine the level that you go to. So as we conclude today, I need you to challenge you. Go back to the first sheet of paper I gave you. You wrote down money and you wrote down your name. And I'm going to tell you right now, you're more than worthy of any amount that you tell yourself that you can have. More than worthy of it. But it's in the strategy and your execution. And when you do it, promise you the life that you live you'll design it it'll be the very one that you want the very one that you need and the very one that you desire all right all right thank you thank you